The time value of money is an important principle in finance, indicating that money now is more valuable than the same amount later due to its earning potential. When dealing with multiple payments over time, it's sometimes necessary to find their equivalent value at a single point in time known as the focal date. In this video, we'll explore how to calculate a single payment that is equivalent to a series of scheduled payments using simple interest. The question reads, consider a payment stream consisting of three payments, $1,000, $2,000, and $3,000 scheduled for March 1st, May 1st, and December 1st of the same year. Calculate the single payment on August 1st that is equivalent to the three scheduled payments. Use a simple interest rate of 6%. Now in this scenario, we want to consolidate these three payments into one by paying what is owed on August 1st. So August 1st will be our focal date. To visualize what's being owed and when, we'll place these values on a timeline. So we have today being March 1st, and 1000 is owed on that date. On May 1st, $2,000 is owed. And by December 1st, $3,000 is owed. Now, as I mentioned, we want to consolidate these three payments so that on August 1st, we pay off all our debts. Notice that August 1st, relative to March and May, occurs in the future. So we need to find out how much 1,000 will mature to after all those days have passed and how much 2,000 will mature to from May 1st to August 1st. The $3,000 payment, which occurs in the future relative to our focal date of August 1st, needs to be discounted back to August 1st. Now, to calculate this, we will be using these two formulas. And note that the simple interest including principal formula stated over here is simply a combination of taking the principal amount and adding to it PRT. So how do we find the future value of that March 1st payment and of that May 1st payment? We'll begin with March 1st. To find out how much $1,000 will mature to, we'll write down A is equal to a principal amount of 1,000, multiply to one plus and the interest rate is 6% annually. Converting that to decimal form, we have 0 0.06. And T represents the duration. The amount of days from March 1st to August 1st is 153 days. Take a look at this chart. March 1st is the 60th day of the year. August 1st is the 213th day of the year. If we take their difference, we get 153. And so to represent that, we'll take 153 and divide it by 365 days in a year. That will represent our value of T. If we calculate this, we'll find out how much $1,000 matures to by August 1st. So 1,000 multiplied to 1 plus 0 0.06 multiplied to 153 divided by 365, and we end up with a value of 1,025 and 15 cents. Now to ensure that these calculations are done properly, it is appropriate to write down up to four decimal places and round at the very end of the question. Now let's find the future value of the second payment of $2,000 on August 1st. So we'll use the same formula again, A is equal to, but this time 2,000 is the principal. And that's being multiplied to one plus 0 0.06. According to this chart, May 1st is the 121st day of the year. And again, August is the 213th. If we take their difference, that makes up 92 days. So 92 divided by 365, and again, we'll compute this. If you do it correctly, you should end up with the following computation. Again, we'll skip the rounding and write down 2030.2465. Now, as I mentioned, December occurs in the future relative to August 1st. So we have to discount 3000 back to August 1st. Because this is a future value relative to the focal date, that will be our value of A. So in place of A, we'll write down 3000. And what we're looking for this time is P. Remember only to do it this way when you are discounting backwards. So this time P is unknown to us and we'll write down one plus 0 0.06. The difference between December 1st and August 1st is 122 days. Take a look at the chart. 
And so I'll write down 122 divided by 365. And we're solving for P. So we'll compute this and then divide both sides of the equation by what we find to find P. Or in other words, P is equal to 3000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.06 multiplied to 122 over 365. Let's go ahead and compute that. And ensure that this is in brackets. We end up with a value of 2,941, decimal 0184. Therefore, to find the single payment, which is due on August 1st, that consolidates all three of these payments, we must add that value with that value and this one. Let's use our calculator. We'll take the number on our screen, plus 1025.1506 plus 2030.2465. And it is at this time where we can round to two decimal places. So what is owed on August 1st is 5,996.42 or 42 cents. If you have any further questions about this concept, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. You're more than welcome to ask your own questions, and I'll gladly give you a hand. Thank you for watching.